Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury and the Paul Pluto channel. Today I'm continuing this series watch box discussion. And today guys, I've gone to a very, very high-end brand. I have gone to Brege, Brege. And uh, today we're going to look at the box and paperwork that goes with a Brege Type 20. And uh, I got to tell you, I had a few Breguets. I've owned, uh, this will be my one, two, three, this will be my fourth Breguet. And I'm got to tell you, this is sort of the classic sort of Breguet Type 20 box. So firstly, what do I think? The outer box there? Yes, yes, indeed. It's quite a nice box itself there however it is a little bit fragile you can see that it's had a little bit of a bit of a well a bit of it may have had a sticker on it it may have just been rubbed against when it was in storage we'll take this lid off it doesn't have any writing on it besides breguet uh 1775 we'll take the the top lid off nothing nothing in there uh, and then, what have we got in here? We've actually got all our stuff. So, in this box here, what do we got? Well, we've got a number of things here. Um, I've actually kept when I bought some extra links for this watch. So, that's my, my uh, Swatch Group paperwork. Uh, as far as the uh, watch itself goes, we've got a, a booklet, which is uh, on the Breguet 3800. This is the... the uh, the Erin Vale, it tells you how to set it, etc, etc. Um, quite a simple, quite a simple booklet there. It doesn't really, uh, doesn't really say terribly much. So that's the, the Breguet papers, sorry, the Breguet booklet there. Uh, tells you how to set it. Yes, very, very self-winding Erin Vale chronograph with flyback um, okay tells you how to set well this one here doesn't have the date setting oh sorry setting the time yes okay so just it's very very rudimentary nothing nothing that grand there and then we've got this here this is what you would call papers papers and what does papers have there? Well, papers itself has got a dealer stamp. Dealer stamp to say the dealer sold this. Um, this was sold at Guam. And then inside here, uh, for my Breguet Type 20, these papers are empty. They're open papers. Open papers meaning the dealer never filled them out, which is good. Which is good. Which is good indeed. Because I bought this box after I bought the watch, I bought it on the Flea Bay. Flea Bay, great place to pick up these rare boxes. Now, let's take a bit of a sticky beak here at the actual, uh, the inner box. So that's the outer box. This is the inner box. Now, this box here, you might say, what the fuck is this thing here? Well, it's supposed to resemble the wing of an aircraft that's what it is it's the the uh the fuselage of a uh or the wing of an aircraft and it's got the little rivets to replicate it now interestingly enough with this box here in previous uh breguet type 20s i've owned they've actually been solid aluminium they were heavy fuckers really awkward boxes this one here is actually in plastic and uh, it you can just see there it's got a little plastic thing which actually comes out it's not glued in it comes out so that you may want to display your watch without that plastic thing in place it's kind of weird so let's open it up so it's got a, a hinge mechanism there so it opens up and voila we've got uh, what is this this is uh, retail retail smell it's got a print inside here it's got a print of a 19 what 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 era aircraft is that they're kind of world war ii spruce goose sort of 
aircraft there. Um, and it's got fake kind of leather. It's done in a classy color, like you'd expect. Brego, who've got a, a dongle. This one here's got a little leather piece there that says Brego. Because we we wouldn't want to buy a cheap watch, would we? Ah, uh, this aircraft wing thing here. Yeah, it's 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 okay. It's okay. A bit on the gimmicky side, sure. I grant you that. It it, it is a it is a a wee bit on the gimmicky side there. The watch itself sits on this um, uh, little same sort of material. I don't think it's leather. It feels like leather, smells like leather, but I, I don't think it's leather. It's kind of like a very upmarket vinyl, I suppose you could say. You know, but it's up. It's upmarket vinyl. It's not. It's not cheap, nasty, working class vinyl. This is expensive vinyl. So um, then, of course, what else have you got there? Well, so you've got the wing. There's the wing sort of box, the keel sort of box there. You've got a nice thing for it to sit on, which I must admit, it, it actually fits on that pretty damn nicely. It sits quite beautifully on it. I, I think it is a. Um, it's quite a nice stand there that beautiful blue upmarket very patrician blue there hey fuckers i'm a brega i'm a brega uh well i'm successful i wear a brega yes a brega yes yes you know i kind of yeah it is a bit pretentious but uh i i like it I, I i think it is a cool it's a cool piece it's a cool piece uh the wing kill it's a little bit cheesy, I, I grant you that. I mean, uh, it's kind of how they, they've they done things there. It is a bit cheesy. That's, that's, that's kind of what they, it's kind of what they want to project there. I, I, I get it. I, I understand, you know, uh, but uh, I, I, I think it is, I think it's done in a tasteful, it's a it's a cool way. A has got the Brega is a fancy fancy wancy brand, fancy wancy fancy pantsy brand. So, I, I I think it it can pull it off. I think it I think it deserves, I think it deserves that type of box. There, it is a cool box. It's a nice box. Um, it's a, it's a lovely watch. The Brega itself there. It's kind of fitting with the brand, so I, I think it all matches up. It matches in there. I think it's 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 a reasonable job there. Breguet's used some more expensive boxes. A friend of mine has got the nicer kind of not using the aircraft wing box, which I think is kind. It's kind of cool, but they, um, the other one is is kind of more traditional Breguet box. They're kind of you know moving towards that pigeon for that Patek sort of price point there, which I can understand. I think it does an okay job. It is very unique. It's a unique box, and uh, I, I think it it serves its purpose. So um, I'm pretty happy with it. I think I think it, it it's a brega. It's a brega. I'm I'm very happy to have the box and the watch. It just it's just cool. It's a cool thing. It is very very cool. So uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. So there you go, guys. That's the brega, the bregster, the bregster. Tell me what you guys think. Like, subscribe, tell your circle jerking friends, and don't forget, guys, put a few comments below and tell me what you think of the Brega and the Brega box. See you later, fuckers! Can't take my eyes on me, my thoughts on me just grow and grow. Hey guys, my name is Paul Pluter. I'm the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, 
AC3. Guys, guys, I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. It's very hard running a YouTube channel relying on Google Ads alone. I'm in a special niche and I speak my mind and I've, I don't have all those Seiko wannabes, all the people who want assurance about their affordable shitters. So I've got to really try hard to bring in the revenue. Guys, if you like my content, if you think I'm a great, great chap to have around, why don't you help me out? There's a number of ways you can help me out. This will keep me full time on YouTube. Look in the description of this video for some ways you can help me. You could sponsor me on Patreon. That allows you to send a small monthly amount to me every month. It can be a dollar, it can be a hundred dollars, whatever you can afford. The next way you can help me is, well guys, I, I really need some money to keep things going. Paid reviews. On the Paul Pluto channel, I run paid reviews. For as little as 20 US dollars, I'll give you an opinion of your collection, of what you're looking at, I'll try and answer. There's heaps of other ways you can help me. I do telephone consultancy. For 50 US dollars, I will talk to you on Skype or WhatsApp and answer your horological or personal problems. Any questions, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Now guys, please help us out. Look down below, and if you, if you, if you could help us out, I will stay here and make videos full time on YouTube.